hi dudes and dudettes I'm uh, currently on my way to Valdemarsvik it's uh, the second trip but it will be like day three not a tree day three so uh, yep I got like a 25 minutes left I got a bit late because I forgot that I left my uh, short chains for the 90 centimeter bar uh, on a shelf so had to turn back when I had already drawn like 10 minutes because I don't want to be out on that so uh, yep back to Valdemarsvik with the big one so I'm just gonna take the big rig and start building it Clean the groove on this big bar because it's what we mainly gonna be using today. As I said, it's pretty dirty. bit of grinding to do we have a little bit of a lip here otherwise it's no damage over there but we do have some here like an edge so I want to get that off This one, it's a 2.10 meter wide elm that was dead but still wants to live uh, and it will be put in furniture or other kinds of stuff but we got a 7 foot width down there so we'll start by making it flat before we put on the ladder.
measured the log and it's uh, around seven feet wide so it's gonna be the double ender for this and I'm also trying to avoid the sand but it's kind of impossible So it's not really going accordingly to plan because I chose to go with the big rig and should have went with a smaller first because it's not so much to support the big bar inside the log I'll show you soon which is trouble. So I've been filming a lot, I mean I've been filming a good amount of material but uh, since I have gotten some complaints about my camera and the blurry images I've decided I'll start mixing with the settings and uh, that didn't turn out good so I had like a white screen uh, from the sunlight I didn't check it I just went and listened to what other people on YouTube had to say about settings on the GoPro but uh, for now I've been milled this big piece it's uh, seven feet across around two 
uh, 0.10 meters uh, and we have gotten six slabs out of it already uh, but we also have started milling the other big one uh, here behind uh, at the same time and uh, uh, I just found a big ant nest uh, on this log you can see them moving they got their trail and it's quite a cool habitat in the center of this log doesn't go too deep so that's good it had some uh, the main of the colony was in the uh, top pieces before it got wide uh, so that's what I have been doing today didn't go too well uh, everything I said I can't remember everything but I have had a lot of troubles from chainsaw spitting out uh, spark plugs to the stand issue that I have on this work site which isn't the best uh, when you see when we when we have a slab cut we could could put the gear on the slab but every time we need to mill and in between the saw uh, gets on the ground where it gets a lot of sand and debris on it uh, and uh, since I'm three hours away from home it's roof tent time and I just set it up and uh, showed you when I did it but uh, I'll show you tomorrow when I take it down maybe so that's it uh, I'll continue the mill and uh, gather material So guys, I did get some fresh files from uh, Chainsaw Bars the other day uh, and in this package I did get some uh, diamond files which is new to me, might not for you but it's new to me. Uh, I've been trying them today and uh, they, they doesn't I feel like they don't take off as much material as the original file and it has it leaves like a sanded finish on the tooth which doesn't feel it, it feels super sharp I mean don't get me wrong you can easily do the nail test on it but when you get the 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 sanding marks like if you would sand it with sandpaper uh, with high grit uh, it doesn't get the finish like as if you would do it with a original file and it just leaves a shiny surface uh, 
another thing is that I did get the Panther Plus chain this time and and that's a really good chain because it has these marks for knowing how to position your file which makes it a lot easier to know if you're in the right position or not so yep I uh, will have to come back with the filing sometimes I, I did reckon that the original file has some trouble sometimes to get the rakers uh, and if there are and if there is some trouble you could always scrape it with a diamond one to get it to open up before you go over to the to the ori original original flat file but yep that's it for sharpening chains with xylo I was so tired because I didn't have more than four hours of sleep. Four hours of sleep before I had to drive uh, the three hour drive. Uh, and uh, then I was working for 11 hours. So uh, me filming, making food and going to bed uh, didn't happen because I was so tired. Uh, right now I'm home with the rascals. There's the small one and the big one, and uh, uh, I'm currently editing this video, but since I didn't have an ending, so here it comes. Take care, and uh, be patient for part two.